They say don't tempt Mother Nature. But today, I think she's tempting us. Five Jeep Grand Cherokees face an adventure they never saw coming. We've already gone too far. There's no turning back. We're headed straight for the storm. This is Grand Exploration and Six Monkeys, Veterans Day Jeep Run, the WK2 Takeover. We've been riding on channel six. I have family in Florida, so the story was I was flying out there and I was like, hey, I'm bringing my camera stuff. Do you want me to swing over to your place and shoot some videos? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. So that just, that was like four years ago. And that just sick. started a roller coaster effect, and then when he started getting really big, uh, yeah, now he just flies me out all the time. So, Dan here, Six Monkeys. We're at our second meet point up in uh, our Veterans Day run, Pacific Northwest. Here with Grand X. Uh, we're gonna go hit some trails. Uh, go have some fun. to the trailhead 
and you know I was scared for a minute I was telling Brandon like we're an hour late to the meetup point I, I, I don't know if anyone's gonna be there but sure enough there was at least two WK2s there they both had winches which I'm glad but uh, yeah the, the 410 highway was closed and that was my worst nightmare hearing that this morning but uh, we thought on our feet found another route through Little Natchez 36 mile detour that got us right to the trailhead so we came out an hour late but we got it done and we are now on the trail headed to funny rocks so it's gonna be sick keep going keep going keep going right there you go you're fine you're slipping into it you're good now you're not gonna nothing nothing to worry about Keep it going. Keep it going. How was that? Not too bad. <laughs> it wasn't as deep as I thought it would come up. I thought it would come up higher. Yeah? Yeah. Now once you got in there, it barely touched your bumper. Really? Yeah. yeah. You're just going to keep sliding. Yeah, you're going to keep sliding in it. There you go. You're good. You're good. That looks like this a bad. Mine or yours? I think it's that mine. was yours. It popped out. I got it on camera. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kidney skid. Kidney. Right underneath your uh, driver's seat. Yeah, this one right here. That's the one that I cracked too. You had the perfect approach angle. Oh, well. Oh, pardon. Let's tight. You didn't scrape. At all? No, I didn't grind it. Yeah, you, I didn't hear you scrape at all. What? Yeah. You scraped. I scrape, scrape, yeah. scrape, scrape. Yeah, you didn't scrape at all, bro. <laughs> no, I didn't want to scrape. 
I don't have a I don't have a kidney plate to scrape. <laughs> I don't have I don't have plates to scrape now. Drones? Yeah, drones. Go, go. Tasty. Yeah, I'm gonna do four low. Four low auto. It's so What's going on here is Jackson was attempting to take a different line, um, but it was a little deceiving because not only do you have the snow to slip on, but there's also mud right underneath it. So we got to try to figure this out, get him turned around. Um, we're going to winch him backwards, straighten him out, and he's going to take the same line I did. There you go. Nice. There you go. Now let's watch the pros do it. That was scary. That's scary. I mean, these are like five feet in the air. got your heart going? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I know. That's what I'm saying here. That was intense. Yeah. That was the most intense obstacle I've done. Is that, is that as, as sideways as you've gotten? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Once you do it a few times, start getting used to it, you kind of feel that threshold of where it go, can go. I know Dan, after watching this, he's just, he's like, I want my team. Yeah, right. Oh. I'm funny rocks got crazy side point of that. job man I believe that was all all the rigs were Quadratrek 2 I believe except for the Trailhawk and uh, we owned that that was awesome 
Something about getting out in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of strangers, with people you've never met in person, just really, I don't know, it, it creates ties, bonds. And uh, this is something I really gotta thank the Lord for. I feel like this is definitely in his purpose. We got one WK2 that it's stuck right now. Quick little update. Well, it looks like we had a little miscommunication with the Wranglers at the top of the hill that are trying to come down off this ski slope. So I'm trying to hurry up and get on the radio with them and get things straightened out before they slide right into us. We're gonna go up this, which is called Five Fingers in Washington. Fun little shoots, although it is way too slippery. We cannot get traction at all because the entire ground is frozen. All of the rock underneath the snow is completely frozen. There's a set of five wranglers up there that want to come down. So now we're trying to find tracks and get out of their way. All of which we have another Jeep down there. That's stuck as well. So. We got through the day without any recoveries. Sad to say it's the trail hawk, but it's pretty slippery out here. Now the Wranglers have so graciously showed us up, now we are going to pull this guy out. He had himself pretty good, as you guys can see in the video. But instead of pulling from the front, we're going to snatch block to that tree at the backside. And this Wrangler right in front of us is going to hopefully pull him backwards and out of his ditch. Just like that. Just like that. There it is. Like reset the battery or something. Is it air? Yeah. I could have. We usually like airbags on top of the strut or something. Weird. But if you play it, it's all the way down. It's all the way deflated, yeah. Should he go backwards or forwards? Backwards. No, he's gonna rip his bumper off. Oh, yeah, we're gonna yeah. rub. His air shot's blown. His front suspension's there down. I think his airbag just blew it. Ugh. No. No. Yeah. I don't know if you want to try to go up straight. No. no, I don't think you can. Not with that. I would try to back up right there. No. Just go straight back right there. Side of that. Oh. This is where he kind of scared us a bit. He ends up yeah. sliding back down the hill, yeah. um, and there's a fallen tree on the passenger side, but he ends up all right. Oh, it's starting to come back up. Yeah, he's you're going back up. Yep. Ooh, that's not good, man. <laughs> yeah, his air went back up. Tell him his shock looks good. Yeah, your shock looks great. Yeah, you look like you got a lift. Honestly. Now, there's one tree that's chilling over there on the passenger side. Yeah, we gotta find a spot for him to turn around. He's gotta turn around. <laughs> he is a professional faller. <laughs> What's up guys? A little update for you. We have reached five fingers. The, uh, if you looked at my last video at Funny Rocks, there's a obstacle called five fingers straight up the hill and there's five different roads you can race up. Fortunately, we're covered in snow and it's not looking good for us today. 
Um, I don't think it's worth giving it a try. And, you know, I'm thinking about some of the other rigs out with us. One has got Quadratrack 1, so he can't really switch to different modes. So I think we're just going to chill here, eat our lunch, and uh, start heading back. And, yeah, it's been fun. I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Quick Trips. This was the Six Monkeys and Grand Exploration Veterans Day Jeep Run, and we had a blast. I really hope you enjoyed it. Also, if you're interested in outfitting your Jeep Grand Cherokee with some overland gear, like high quality overland gear, check out Daniel at sixmonkeys.net. I left the link in the description, right next to my Amazon links. If you buy something from those, I get a little kickback, so thanks for your support. And also, if you haven't hit subscribe, smack that subscribe button, guys. Appreciate it. Love you. Peace.